Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? What's good in you, teacher? Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Ready. Ready for a new day, a new class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we're going to start tonight. Welcome one more time. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, let's get it started tonight with the first attendance. Let's see, Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Anadelmi Herrera Morales. Ana Marisol Mendoza Pineda. Present. Good evening. Angel Alexander Guardado. Carolina Yamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Welcome. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Present teacher. Okay, yes. now your microphone is working. Very good. Hey, uh, uh, Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Welcome. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Welcome. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present, present teacher. Okay. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Olga Marleni Gómez. Zenaida América Domínguez. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. Ok. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. 
And Carla Veronica Suria. Okay, very good. So welcome one more time. Teacher. Yes. Ya me men Good evening. Ya me mencionó Olga Gómez. Ya. Gracias. Okay. Well, last night we finished talking about prohibitions. Yes, and rules. Using is not allowed. Is not allowed. Okay. Let's see our material tonight. Hmm. Yeah, so this we finish talk is not allowed. Okay. Um, I have an exercise here to practice. Let's start with this. So let me share this screen. Okay, look at this. Oh, oh, oh slide here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm, the internet is bad. Um. Okay. 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 Look at this. Uh, we have different situations and different places. Okay. So we have a, a, the park the library, the hospital, an exam room, a museum, an airplane, the zoo, and the forest. And different situations here. For example, smoking, it's not allowed. Photography, not allowed. Calculation, calculators, not allowed. Large bags, not allowed. Feeding, not allowed. Talking, not allowed. Dogs, not allowed. Campfires, not allowed. So first, I want you to re relate the prohibitions with the places. For example, smoking is not allowed in the hospital, okay? So number one goes here. Number one. So I can write the number only. Number one, smoking is not allowed in the hospital. Okay. So first, uh, van a relacionar las prohibitions con los lugares. Y luego van a escribir oraciones usando is not allowed y la información que tienen en el cuadro. Ahí les pongo el ejemplo. Smoking is not allowed in the hospital, okay? Or in a hospital, como quieran. Pero esa es la oración que surge de esto, ¿no? Smoking is not allowed in a hospital, okay? 
Luego tienen que buscar el lugar para cada situación y hacer la oración. ¿Claro? Bien, voy a compartir esto en WhatsApp para que lo tengan ahí y lo podamos, lo puedan trabajar. ¿Qué es esto? Okay, there you have the exercise in WhatsApp. Okay, I will give you five minutes to work. So you're going to work individually right now. Relate the prohibition with the places and write sentences. Look at the example and write sentences, okay? Any question? Sí, quería paso yes. The first one's teacher smoking is a subject. Yeah, it's the activity. Okay. Apagaste el ventilador, hijo. Niña Irma, está por estos lados. Cállate, vos que no me. Good evening, no me funciona nada. El celular no me agarra carga y ya se me va a apagar en la computadora, no me agarra el mentado zoom. En fin, que ya, ya, ya me va a desconectar porque 10% tengo de carga y no carga. Pero yo veo que estamos en una sala solo nosotros o, o hay más. No están todos estos. 19 participantes, dice aquí. Y todos estamos. Ah, bueno. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening.
Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, very good. Okay, finish. first I'm going to send you in groups to share your answers, okay? So you compare your answers and later you're going to, we're going to do it together. Let me form, okay. Okay, go to your groups and compare your answers, okay? See you in uh, two or three minutes, so not too much.
finished, teacher. Let's let is smoking is not allowed in the hospital, okay? Anna Marisol, what about photography? Teacher, teacher. Yes? One question, teacher. Uh, smoking uh -huh. is not always in the hospital. Uh huh. Pero si usted va de alguna junta, alguna reunión. Ah, perdón, perdón. Uh, smoking is fumar. Fumar. Yes. Yes. Vaya, pero no está permitido, pero si usted se va a algún área eh, donde no lo vean. But it's not allowed. In, in, the hospital, <laughs> in the hospital, no está permitido. It's, uh, it's not allowed. Okay, so you can do it in a, anywhere, anywhere, but it's not allowed. Okay, uh, Marisol, number okay. two, photography. Photography is not allowed in the museum. Ah, okay, good. Um, please, uh, let's see, Claudia Samayoa, calculators. Calculators not allowed in the exam rooms. Aha. Le falta algo a esa oración. Remember, we, we use uh, the verb B. For example, number two, it says photography. Is. Oh. Is not allowed. Dijo uh, Marisol in the museum. Ah. Calculators is not allowed in the exam room. Okay, okay, okay. Hay algún detallito ahí todavía. It's Calculators plural. is plural, yes. Entonces. Uh. Calculator. Yes, calculator are not allowed in. Are not allowed. Uh -huh. In the Excel room. Okay. Calculators are not allowed in the exam room. Perfect. Thank you. Now, number four, let me ask to Jessica. Large bags. Okay, large bags, bags are not allowed in the art plan. Not allowed in the airplane. Okay, very good. Number five, let me ask to Miguel Angel. Feeding. Right. Feeding is not allowed in zoo and in forestal también. Lo si yo la relacioné con ambas. Okay. Give me one. In zoo. Yeah, okay. In the zoo. In the forest is the forest, so. Okay, feeding is not allowed in the zoo. Very good. Number six. Let me ask 
to uh, um, yes, 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 yes. Okay, Karina. Hey, teacher. Uh -huh. Talking. Talking is not allowed in a library. In a library. Correct. Okay. Number seven. Let's go with um, Linda. Dogs are not allowed in the airplane. Um, Oh. In the airplane, ya lo tenemos. ¿Qué otro puede ser? In the park. Okay, in the park. Let's say in the park. And the last one, number eight, campfires. Um, Carlos Alberto. Campfires are not allowed in the forest. In the forest. Okay, very good. Let's practice, okay? Repeat after me. Um, smoking is not allowed in the hospital. Smoking is not allowed in the hospital. Smoking is not allowed. Smoking is not allowed. Good. Photography is not allowed in the museum. Photography, photography is allowed, allowed in the museum. Bless you. Thank you. Calculators are not allowed in the exam room. Calculators, Calculators are not allowed, not allowed in the exam room. Large bags are not allowed in the airplane. Large, Large bags are not allowed in the airplane. Feeding is not allowed in the zoo. Feeding is not allowed to in the zoo. Talking is not allowed in a library. Talking is not allowed in a library. Dogs are not allowed in the park. Dogs are not allowed in the park. Campfires are not allowed in the forest. Campfires Fire are not allowed, not allowed in the forest. forest. Okay, any question, people? El ventilador. No questions here? No, teacher. No, teacher. Perfect. No, teacher. Very good. So let's continue with another practice, but this is a speaking practice about this. Look at this uh, board game. This is a, you have to use these questions to talk in your groups. So I'm going to send you to working groups with this, okay? So this, Questions are about the school, but I want you to change them uh, to talk about your work. For example, in lugar de decir, are you allowed to chew gum in class? Vamos a decir, are you allowed to chew gum at work? Okay, at work. Uh, por ejemplo, en esta otra donde dice, are you allowed to 
help your friends with their homework. Uh, no digamos homework, sino in, in their, with their work. Your friends or your co-workers with their work. Okay. Uh, are you allowed to wear your pajamas to school? Cambienle to work. Okay. O sea, no hablemos de la clase, no hablemos de la escuela. Eh, acá no hablemos de los teachers, hablemos del jefe. Are you allowed to shout at your teachers? No, are you allowed to shout at your boss? Uh -huh. Y así, ¿verdad? Vayan viendo y uh, adapten la pregunta al, al área de trabajo, al área laboral. ¿Ok? Uno pregunta y los otros dos responden. Uno pregunta y los otros responden. Eh, incluso to play in groups I will send you this link el link con este dadito ¿no? Ustedes le dan clic al dado y van avanzando cada uno en el cuadro ¿no? empezando acá van avanzando ok Ahora, oh, hay algunos que dicen, eh, name one thing you are not allowed to do. Ok, eso ya ustedes tienen que responder. Nombra una cosa, you are not allowed to do en el trabajo. Ok, well, I am not allowed to smoke at work, por ejemplo. Y acá se nos preguntan, Name one thing you are allowed to do. O sea, que sí es permitido que hagas. Name one thing you are allowed to do. Ok. Entonces, si me preguntan a mí, are you allowed to chew gum in uh, at work? Or in your work? La respuesta sería, no, I'm not allowed to chew gum in my work. ¿Verdad? O, yes, I am allowed to chew gum in my work. Practiquen usando estas formas para responder. ¿Me explico? ¿Cómo van a practicar? Yes, teacher. Bye. Todo lo demás, ahí están las preguntas. ¿Verdad? Entonces, bueno. Voy a mandarles el cuadrito. Ahí al WhatsApp. And responding. So this is a service, okay? And the link for the dice. Lo puedan utilizar para ir avanzando. Podría en el... compartirlo en el chat de Zoom. En el cuadro. Ok. So, practice your English speaking English. Alright. That's the idea. Ok, go to your groups, play the game y voy a estar pasando por los grupos para ver cómo están haciéndolo.
Ah, masticar como. Ah, masticar como de masca. Vaya. Entonces, si quiere, pregunte usted ahora. Are you allowed to eat all the bread at dinner? Yes, I am allowed the, to eat in my work. Espérame, quiero ver. Ah, no, no. No, ajá, pero es a la cena, ¿verdad? Sí. En la cena. Es... ¿Puede, puede, responder, puede responder lo que es la pregunta que hizo Carla. La que hizo Carla. Name uh -huh. one thing you are, are allowed to do. Uh -huh. mm, I'm I'm allowed to do lunch with my partners. She can do that with su dado. Number one. <laughs> Number one sería después de estar uh -huh. en la línea. Yes. Okay. To smoke in your work. Ok. En turno es en Aida. Five. Son números grandes lo caen. <risa> Empiezo a creer que, que se está cobrando lo de Miguel. <risa> <risa> Se quedó acá, va. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, en la cinco, ¿verdad? Ah, aquí. Esa es la cinco. Yes, así. Así sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, entonces tire el dado, Ana. <risa> Está divertido el dado. Juegue con el dado y nos dice dónde va a caer. <risa> Ajá. Que me gusta. Ok, vamos a ver. Cinco. Cayó cinco, entonces vamos a uno, yes. cuatro. Sería la de la otra esquina. Are you allowed to watch TV? To... Oh. to watch TV after me. Eh, For my... Puede poner to eat, to eat, I did break and dinner. Ajá, porque tú eat puedes poner I the bread at dinner. Como un complemento si querés. O puedes poner Yes, I love porque si me gusta. Yes, I love it. Love. I'm good. Delicious. Ajá. Uh -huh. O oh, oh, poner cabal justamente lo que dice eh, Yes, I, I am a lower Yes, I love it to por ejemplo. Okay. Ángel, tú las preguntas. Ok. Aquí le pregunto yo. Entonces vamos haciendo aquí. Are you allowed to be on time at work? Or at office? Yeah, yes, I am allowed. To wait on time in my work. Okay. Okay. And one. One. Okay. Back, Claudia. Claudia okay. one. Sería, estaría aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, three. Si gusta, mm -hmm. usted, vamos a sin orden. Usted se la dice ahorita. Name one. And... You are not allowed to you. Ah, no, Sería nombre o nombre. Que nombre una cosa en, en mi trabajo, algo así dice, vea. Ajá, que no está, que no se puede hacer. O que no está sí. permitido hacer. And to do at work, creo que sería algo así. Uh -huh, to, name, yes. name one. Ahí solamente usted la, 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 la formula. Um, algo que no está permitido. 
for for example, in, in my case, I, 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 for example, in my case, um, I write, I am, it's not allowed to eat on the desk. Es algo que no está permitido comer en, en el escritorio. No sé, okay. En su caso, no sé si formula una parecida. Um...
Okay, people, welcome back. I don't know if you had time to finish, but let me ask you some questions. But first, let me take the second attendance. Then I will ask you some questions, okay? Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. I start teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, one more time. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Su primera tense escribió en el what in the chat. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present teacher. Me teacher, present. Okay, you see how important is your camera. Angel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Carolina Yamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Present teacher. Eh, Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Uh, Irma, la sesión personalizada es con usted ahora, ok? Ok. Jessica Rosmeri Olmedo. Present teacher. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Presente, present. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Teacher. Olga Marlene Gómez. Present teacher. Eh, Senay de América Domínguez. Present teacher. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. And Carla Verónica Zuria. Present. Present. Uh, recordarles también que mañana terminamos eh, la sección 2, ¿verdad? Ya debe de estar las tareas de la sección 2 completas y el examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? El midterm exam, ¿ok? Ambas cosas completas para mañana a la medianoche, please. Okay, so quickly, let me check on some of you, okay? Um, let me start with Carla. Carla Zuria, are you allowed to chew gum at work? Carla? Yes. A teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, is allowed to chew, chew, chew gum in my work. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's see, Silvio. Uh, are you allowed to help your co-workers with their work? Yes. Uh... I am lot to help with my co-worker in the in the work. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Zenaida. Are you allowed to watch TV after midnight? Uh, no, 
I am alone to watching TV. After midnight. After midnight. Okay. Nelson, are you allowed to wear pajamas at work? Nelson, are you allowed to wear pajamas at, at work? I know I'm allowed to work in pajamas in my work. Okay, Myra, uh, are you allowed to listen to music at work? Yes, teacher. I am allowed to listen to music at, to listen to music at work. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Joanna. Uh, are you allowed to shout at your boss? No, teacher. I am not allowed to show to my boss. Okay. Um, Irma, um, are you allowed to... Let me see. To sit on your desk at work? Uh, repeat, please, teacher. Are you allowed to sit on your desk at work? At your desk at work. Sit on your desk. Sentarse en el escritorio. Are you allowed oh. to sit on your desk? Yes, I am. I love to sit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, my boss, my boss so only vacation. <laughs> okay, Xiomara, tell me something you are not allowed to do at your work. I don't allow to. What? Oh, tell me. To write, something. to write in my work. To write. Write. Okay. I am not allowed. I am not allowed. I que no tengo permit que tengo permitido or not. No, I ask you something that you are not allowed to do. Name one thing you are not allowed to do at work. Ah, uh, I love to watch TV. I am, I am not allowed. I am uh, not allowed to watch TV in my work. To watch TV, okay. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe. Tell me one thing you are allowed to do in your work. Think and no understand thing. Thing. One thing you are allowed to do in your work. No entiendo la palabra fin, teacher. Disculpe. No entiendo lo que significa. Thing. Think. Okay, something. No? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, um, so, one thing, una cosa, algo. Tell me one thing you are allowed to do. Oh my word. Yes. Um, I am allowed uh, using computer. Okay. Good. Another one of my uh, Angel. Hola. Muy bien, ¿y usted? Hoy le toca. 
Okay, Angel. Uh, are yes, you yes. allowed to? Uh, Sorry, teacher. To use your cell phone at work? Yes, I am. You use my cell phone at work, teacher. I am. Yes. Yes, I am a lower cell for my work. I am allowed to use. To use. I am allowed to use my cell phone at work. Okay. I am allowed to use. Okay. Uh, uh, um, let me see. Anna, tell me. Anna, tell me, uh, are you allowed to listen to music at work? Uh, yes, I learn. Yes, I learn music at work. I am allowed. I am allowed to listen to, to music to, at work. To, to listen to music at work. Okay, good. And Alejandra. Uh, are you allowed to eat at work? Um, no, I'm not allowed to eat in my work. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So this is to talk about uh, prohibitions and rules at work, okay? I am allowed, I am not allowed. Okay, we are allowed, we are not allowed, etc. Now, any question? Teacher. Yes. Um, para decir que él tiene prohibido o ella tiene prohibido. For example, uh, she is not allow it to use dress in the work. Yes, perfect. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay, he is not allowed. Okay. Yes. For example, uh, students are not allowed to uh, what? To cheat in an exam. Or students are not allowed to use a calculator for the exam. Yeah, they, they are not allowed. Oh, my daughter is not allowed to watch TV in the morning, for example. My daughter is not allowed. No, ahí dependiendo del sujeto vamos a usar la forma correcta del verbo to be. ¿Verdad? I am not allowed, you are not allowed, she is not allowed, they are not allowed, we are not allowed, etc. ¿Verdad? Dependiendo del eh, sujeto, así es el verbo to be. Ok, okay. Okay, so let's continue then with next lesson. Go here to the able to ask for and provide information company. Location provide ask and provide information of facilities of the company. Okay. Let's take a look to this conversation. Listen. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. Well, 
One more time, listen. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Well, basically she is talking about in safety instructions. She is talking about safety instructions at work. Right? Okay. Um, Let's practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Engineer. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. I am Mary, and I am providing safety instructions today. today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. And don't, and don't forget, forget where, where the is all the time. All the time. It is important to uh, it is important not to get close to red areas. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. Uh, let's see some. Uh, pronunciation of some words, okay? This one. Safety engineer. Engineer. Repeat. Safety engineer. Safety, safety, engineer. safety engineer. engineer. This one. Safety instructions. Safety, 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 safety instruction. instruction. Helmet. 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 Earplugs. 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 Areas. Area. 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 Very good. Now, let's practice. Uh, I am Mr. Uh, no, I am Walter, and you are Mary, okay? Right. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Where between the yellow Okay. Well. Let me tell you something about this because for me, this.
this is incorrect. Let me change the color so I can. Because, well, el otro día yo les mostré los diferentes títulos que se usan, ¿verdad? Miss, Miss oh, Mr., Miss, Mrs., Miss. Ok. Pero hay algo que es importante resaltar. Estos títulos se usan ya sea con el apellido o con el nombre completo. ¿Verdad? Gramaticalmente eso es lo correcto. Entonces, decir Miss Mary, mmm, ya lo he escuchado, lo escucho, pero no es eh, lo correcto. ¿Verdad? Título en inglés se usa, ya sea con el nombre completo, si dijéramos Miss Mary Olson. Perfecto. Va a bajar. O Miss Olson, solo con el apellido. Pero así Miss Mary, no. No. Así es que se los aclaro. Aunque está así en el libro, pero les dejo eso. Ok. Entonces se usa esos títulos: Miss, Mr., Mrs., Miss, con el nombre completo o solo con el apellido. Pero no es eh, correcto solamente con el nombre, solo con el primer nombre. Thanks, teacher. Hola. Thanks, teacher. Ok. Any question with the conversation? No, teacher. No. Sure. Bien. So I will give you like five minutes to practice the conversation. Sure. Okay. Para esta conversación no hay preguntas. Teacher, Entonces, what is practicarla. helmet? Helmet. Yes. Casco. Yeah, this is a helmet. Okay. What is her plug? Earplugs. Earplugs. Anybody knows what is the meaning of earplugs? Tapones o orejeras. Tapones para los oídos. Los tapones para los oídos, ¿verdad? Okay. En muchas fábricas se, se usan. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me send you to work in pairs. Now uh, you're going to work in pairs to, to practice the conversation. I'll give you like five, six minutes to practice the conversation two or three times, okay? Yeah.
Okay, welcome back. Um, because this, this conversation is about safety rules, I want to give you something to do, okay? Vamos a hacer una, vamos a hacer una, una actividad acerca de esto. Eh, déjenme mostrarles esto primero, okay? Let me show you some uh, information about symbols uh, in a factory or in a workplace, different symbols, okay? About safety, related to safety. Uh, you can see some red signs, so rotulos, red color, Significan prohibition. ¿Ya? Todos los rótulos que ustedes ven que son rojos. The meaning is prohibition. You must not or do not do or stop. Okay, red means stop. For example, no admittance, no smoking. No dirty clothes. Okay, so all red symbols means prohibitions. Blue symbols mean uh, mandatory or obligations. You must do or carry out the action given the by order. the sign. It's the same the order. Mandato. Mandator, mandatory um, is obligation. Okay. So blue means obey. See? For example, keep clear. Health protection must be worn. Debe usarse. Wear gloves. Yeah. So cosas que se deben hacer. Yellow means warning, caution, risk of danger, hazard ahead. Yellow means risk of danger. For example, danger, high voltage. Danger, mind your head. Cuide su cabeza, no? Peligro. Or danger, four, leaf, four lifts in operation. O sea, peligro, ¿no? Eh, montacargas en operación. Entonces, yellow symbols means risk, warning. And green symbols mean safe condition, the safe way, where to go in an emergency. So green means go. For example, first aid station, emergency phone, emergency exit. ¿Verdad? O sea, eso significa los colores en la simbología. It's interesting, yeah. And uh, tenemos otro tipo de símbolos que son multipurpose. Supplementary text, so símbolos que llevan texto también. Fire equipment signs, símbolos relacionados con equipo contra incendios. And work traffic signs, ¿verdad? Símbolos relacionados con el tráfico dentro de las instalaciones de trabajo. Dice, so, uh, son igual, are the same uh, design as public road signs, son iguales a los eh, símbolos de tráfico público, ¿verdad? Ok, ya les voy a poner esto ahí en el WhatsApp para que lo tengan de información. Esto es solo información, un poco más acerca de safety rules en a company. Ok, ahora les voy a dar esta otra imagen. Y con esta, eh, 
con esta van a trabajar. Vean, aquí hay 61 symbols. No los van a usar todos. Sino que eh, de acuerdo a su trabajo, no sé, es an office, es a factory, es a uh, what, a school, or whatever, a hotel, restaurant. Ok. Me van a crear un, eh, un pequeño reglamento de safety rules, reglas de seguridad en el trabajo. Ok. Uh, van a escoger siete símbolos de acá. No sé cuáles apliquen a su trabajo. ¿Verdad? Y de acuerdo a cada símbolo, a cada símbolo le van a poner una regla. De acuerdo a lo que el símbolo significa. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, uh, no sé, ¿verdad? Si, si usan... Este de number 18, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería la regla? Uh, do not use cell phone. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, la regla es Do not use cell phones at work. ¿Ya? Eh, recuerden en esto usamos también los imperatives, que ya los vimos. Con símbolos, con órdenes, con reglas. We use imperative. ¿Ok? Positive imperatives or negative imperatives, ¿verdad? No. La mayoría de estos, azules o verdes, serían positive, ¿verdad? Y estos, pues son negative. Y estos son precaución. ¿Verdad? Recuerden, estos generalmente empiezan con caution. Warning, ¿verdad? Y nos dicen cuál es el peligro. Me explico. Entonces, me van a hacer siete. Siete reglas de seguridad en su trabajo. Usando siete de estos símbolos y escribiendo la regla de seguridad. ¿Ok? Eh, lo voy a poner en grupo solo por cuestión de que se brinden apoyo tal vez, porque es individual, porque es de acuerdo a su propio trabajo. ¿Verdad? No es que me van a hacer un solo trabajo por grupo. Cada quien va a presentar lo, el suyo. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, solo para que ahí puedan comentarse, apoyarse, preguntarse, darse opiniones, sugerencias, etcétera. Pero individualmente me tienen que presentar cada quien sus siete reglas de seguridad para su workplace, su lugar de trabajo. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? Bueno. Dicen que el que calla otorga. O sea que en, en, doy por entendido que está claro. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So let me share this pictures in WhatsApp. Para que tengan ahí de referencia. Um, ok. No creo que terminen ahora, ¿verdad? O que los puedan presentar ahora, pero traten de terminarlo. Y mañana estaría cada uno haciendo su presentación. Safety rules in my workplace. Ok. Nos van a leer sus siete reglas de seguridad en su trabajo. Ok. Ok, teacher. Good. Let me form new groups. Hello, Miguel Ángel. Ok.
Angel, go to your group, please.
Okay, people, welcome back. Oh, we're going to finish this activity tomorrow and tomorrow you're going to present your safety rules for your workplace, okay? Let's take the attendance tonight to the last attendance, okay? And remember Irma, you are going to have the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Nadelmi Herrera. Excellent teacher. Okay, Nadelmi. Good night. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, Ángel, good night. Good night. Carolina Jamile Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good Claudia night. Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Hilda Xiomara. Eh, Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Karina good night. Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Okay, Karina. Good night. Good night. Uh, Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present, Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Roxana I'm Hernandez. here, teacher. Present teacher. Oh. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Myra. Good night. Okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Se fue la energía. Okay. Okay, thank you for attending, Xiomara. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Eh, Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present teacher. See you okay, tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Uh, Marlene Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Tonight, America Dominguez. Present teacher. Have a night. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Yes. Okay, good night. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you, good, good night. night. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow, people. Good night. Me quedo solo con Irma. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Anadelmi. Good bye. night. Good night. Ok, Irma. ¿Qué podemos apoyarle? ¿Algo que quisiera reforzar? Uh... Teacher, he estado haciendo las tareas y no, 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 no me sale lo del halo web. Y hemos estado haciéndolo y no me sale. A ver, vamos a ver. A buscar. La tarea. Ocho. Ocho. Todo malo. <risa> <risa> Re, complete.
complete. Use it the proper for and not allow it. Algo primero. Uh -huh. Y solo hay que ponerlo todo. No es hacer todo bueno, lo eso. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. No solo la parte, la parte que falta. Vamos a ver. La número uno dice you to cheat on an exam. Cheat es copiar. Ajá, en el examen. ¿Cómo sería aquí? Sería you, you are not eh, allowed. Allowed, ok. Muy bien. La número dos, to use the phone during working hours. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, he is not allowed to use the phone during working hours. Okay. Correcto. Number three, to wear jeans okay. at work. Uh, I am not allowed. I am not allowed. Okay, number four, our boss to mistreat his staff. Maltratar a su, a su equipo. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, your, your boss are not allowed. Are not. Mm -hmm. No, no es are. Es is, is not allowed. Exacto, porque estamos hablando de nuestro jefe, o sea, él jefe. o ella. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? It's not allowed. Y la última, the provider. Yeah, it's not allowed. Ok. Veamos, revisemos. Perfecto, mira, 20 de 20, ¿verdad? O sea, yo toda la oración hice. Sí, sí, se presta esa confusión, pero no, solo es de poner la parte que falta. Ok. ¿Verdad? Y ya sí. le sale. Lo que me cuesta un poquito nada más es como armar las oraciones, teacher. Ya yo cuando me pregunta es como que ahí me corto, pero entiendo un poquito, entiendo. Sí, sí, ahí vamos, vamos a soltar esa lengua. ¿verdad? Por eso estamos ahí presionando un poco para hablar, preguntarles, ponernos a hablar en el grupo. ¿Verdad? Mucha práctica, mucha práctica tenemos que hacer. Estar platicando. In English. Y, y, y con la tarea que nos ha dejado, ahí escogemos nosotros las señales según nuestro trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, escoja siete. Y Mira, yo hago las oraciones de, de la... De la... Las reglas de seguridad la regla. en el trabajo. Ajá. Safety rules. ¿Ya hizo alguna? Ah, por ejemplo, puse no smoking in the place. Ok. Uh -huh. No smoking eh, in... In the place. Uh -huh. Uh, sería workplace, el lugar de trabajo. Workplace. Ajá. Y otra que dice es use fear extinguishers in cause the emergence. Ok. Eh, otra que dice, porque no entendí si eso era lo de las manos, decía wise hang every ten minutes. Ah, está bien. Lo de la pandemia. Está bien, está bien, perfecto. Solo esas he hecho ahorita, tres. Vamos, va bien. Ok. Va bien. Ok, ¿verdad? entonces. Va. Perfecto, Irma, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa y estamos siempre a las órdenes. Vaya, Ticho. Ah, ¿Eh? Ticho, a partir del jueves, eh, ya como empiezo a trabajar y solo yo trabajo todo el día, entonces no sé. Posiblemente la primera hora siempre va a ser oyente cuando me toca trabajar. Ah, Porque sí. salimos a las nueve o diez de la noche. Ajá. 
9 o 10 de la noche. Depende, ajá. ¿Cómo es restaurante y hotel? Ah, ¿de qué hotel? En la posada, aquí en Suchitoto. Ah, en Suchitoto. Uh -huh. Ah, es el mismo donde trabaja Ángel, ¿no? Sí, los dos trabajamos juntos. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Mire, pues vamos a ir a visitar un día ahí. ¿Cuánto vale sí. la noche en el hotel? Hay ah, habitaciones de 100, de 88. 100. Sí. Oh, es carito. <ríe> eh, su chito es caro. Después que volvió turístico es caro. Sí, 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 sí. Bueno, está cerca del lago, se ve el lago. De donde nosotros sí es el restaurante que tiene la mejor vista. Oh. Uh -huh. Sí, yo estuve ahí en un restaurante, pero no recuerdo, pero sí se veía. El lago no me acuerdo si es ese. Ya. Pero hace pero rato, sí. tengo días de no ir a Suchitoto. Vale, un día. <risa> ok, Irma. Ok, Ticha. Qué bueno que ya está mejor. Pase feliz noche, ok. Gracias, buenas noches. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you.